for your warm up today, I want you to use your kettlebell to hit some goblet squats, some Turkish get ups, and some alternating hand kettlebell swings. Don't worry about the kettlebell coming up very far, right? It's a little heavy because we're using a heavier kettlebell for everything today. And then if we could also get some Cossack squats in um, just to get your hips nice and warm. So what we've got today, it's a little homage to Quentin Tarantino and the Kill Bill movie, Crazy 88s. What we've got are two eight minute AMRAPs. You'll have a four minute rest period in between the two. First eight minute AMRAP is gonna be eight eye level swings. Boom, eye level swings. Followed by eight steered hand release push ups. We're gonna go over those movements. Then you'll have a four minute rest. And then we go back to eight eye level swings, followed by eight hollow coils to the movements. All right, guys, so we're gonna go over the eye level kettlebell swing. Really important when I do this eye level kettlebell swing that I'm not just thinking about hip extension, right? I need to think about knee extension too. So I wanna take a back swing and hinge in my hips. I'm loading into my hips like a big old silverback gorilla. I wanna load into my hips. And then when I drive with my legs, I snap my knees and lock them out, squeeze my butt at the same time. So what you're gonna notice is that kettlebell is really gonna pop, right? If I just drive my hips and I don't straighten my legs, you're not gonna see the same pop. So I'm gonna show you the wrong version. For, well, I'm gonna show you just the good version first. Here we go. So take a big backswing and snap, 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 snap. My arms are just guiding the bell. If I do a hip thrust, I end up leaning back and putting pressure on my low back, and that's not good. So think about letting that backswing develop, drive your weight through the green dot, snap your knees completely straight, and stand up tall. That's your eye level swing. All right, next the body. We have body weight movement, which is our steered hand release push up. So if you think about the steering, it's gonna be, I pull my left elbow tight to my body and I lift my right elbow up. So I'm gonna end up in this kind of a position and that's where I push. And then back to the ground, left elbow tight to my body, right elbow up, and that's where I push. And we're alternating, steer, push, back down, steer, push, back down on the floor. It looks like this. Steer, push up, come back down, steer to the other side, push, steer, and steer. You're gonna notice that my head and my shoulders rotate. So I'm coiling to the left, coiling to the right. My head and my shoulders are rotating to put me in that really strong athletic coiling position. I'm gonna end up with my hands in a very similar position than the, uh, to the push-up. And I want you to really think about the hollow coil. It's named hollow coil because I wanna see the hollow shape and the coil shape every single time. So I'm gonna start in my hollow shape. My hollow shape, my shoulder blades are off the deck, right? Everything's organized. My toes are pointed, everything's straight. From here, I'm gonna coil to the right side. So I'm, again, rotating my shoulders. My right elbow goes down into my back pocket. My left elbow comes up and my right knee comes up. So I'm crunching to this side only. I hit back into my hollow shape, and then I crunch and coil to the left. Left elbow into my back pocket, left knee up, right elbow pointed up to the sky. Back into my hollow shape, coil to the right, back into my hollow shape, coil to the left. You're gonna notice when you, when you rotate your shoulders to one side, you're gonna roll a little bit to that side, and that's how it should be. Have fun with this one. 